Good morning. It's too early for this kind of weather. Ugh. But, and they, nonetheless, we got chores to do. Good morning, turkeys. You guys should go in the barn for a while. Hi, friends. Welcome back to Acres of Clay. We got Mackenzie lounging over here. She's getting ready to go to work here in a little bit, but... She really doesn't want to because this is what it looks like out there. It's snowing. But actually, it isn't snowing at the moment. Let me look at the radar. Oh, yeah. More snow is on the way. So, we will be... We're in a clearing right now and I gotta head outside because my chickens need water and I gotta check to make sure they have food. So even though it's snowing, blowing, we are under a winter storm warning and it is an even winter. This is what Mackenzie's been working on all day yesterday. She had the day off, so she made a whole bunch of soap. Look at it all. We've got cedar, spearmint. We have a vanilla charcoal. No. What? Well, I can say. Peppermint. Oh, peppermint. Peppermint charcoal. Peppermint charcoal, excuse me. Um, spearmint patchouli. This is her coffee bean. This is a new one. It's a vanilla latte, so it's vanilla with coffee. And this is a man's bar. It has cedar and bergamot and patchouli, different smells. Um, this is a lavender. This one is lemongrass, vanilla mint, and vanilla. Uh, this is vanilla bean almond. All different smells. Very, very nice. She worked at that all day yesterday. And that's because a lot of you have ordered soap from her. Um, last video, a couple videos ago, I said that she had her soaps up on our Etsy store. And a lot of you responded and bought from her. So hopefully you, if you haven't got your soap yet, you it is on its way. And hopefully you like it. So we got more here that is got four or five weeks or so before it's ready. She thought about making more yet today. She's got a lot of junk. She took over the kitchen. I can't do anything in the kitchen when she's making soap. So anyway, <laughs> she's just relaxing. <laughs> and I have to bundle all up just to go out because I get cold easy. So... My hat, my coat, my gloves, my boots. I'm not putting snow pants on today because I don't need to. Not today. I won't be out too long. But I will go see what the guys are doing. Because they're working out in the cold. Even if I don't want to. Uh-oh. I didn't get ready fast enough. It's, it's already snowing again. Ugh. Here we are. Here we go. To the chickens. Oh, hey, that's cold. It's 28, I think, outside. Oh, hey, it's a mess in here. Oh, just got snowed on. Hello, birds, again. I should close that up. I was leaving that open for vent, but it's bringing snow in, so that's not good. And all the chicky doos are over on this side. Okay, we'll work at it. I need to bring in some more straw. And I have two heat lamps working. What do you think? Is this your kind of weather? Oh, it doesn't seem to bother her. Chickens don't want to go out in the snow. So I've had to fill their feeder with, the, the wall feeders, with, um their food. I was feeding them out here, but they haven't been outside. Hello. <laughs> Anyways. Look at my pretty roosters. I don't think all the chickens are in here. I think some of them stayed in the calf barn because they were free. They were free ranging, but at night sometimes they stay where they're not supposed to. Ethan wants to play. It's 
spark plug foul? Uh, it's just that wide open. If you really hammer on it, that wide open bottle it doesn't have the pep and should. It kind of bogs. It bogs? Kind of boggy. So, what's this going to tell you? Nothing. Nothing? Just Go ahead. It's a compression tester. Six, 60. What should it be? I don't really know. It's got a VES on it, so it lets go some of the... Some of that compression? So it's easier to turn on or whatever. Oh. So I don't know how accurate this would be. Oh. Maybe you just need a new set of plugs. No? Then we have Sydney over here. He's working on parts for the, the Volvo. Tell um, him what you're doing. Sure. This last fall we had, actually this Volvo started using a lot of coolant and using a lot of oil. And it was dumping it uh, pretty much the into dryer. the yeah out of the air dryer um, so everything's just caked with oil and coolant but we ran it to get done with what we need to get done for the time so, so we kept running it yeah but finally got around to pulling the air compressor off of it and it's we just decided to dissect it and it's pretty worn out Not the truck's something... only got like a million miles on it only a million it's a original so, this is the original? Yeah. You can see, like, I was thinking about rebuilding it, but this lip here, it's a little or, rough. the piston's worn in, and it has a oh, pretty nice oh. lip um, on both of them. That one's really bad. It's got two lips. It's yep. got a lip there and an the outer lip. And then I was just going to clean up the heads and throw it back together, but I don't want to deal with honing it out and oversized pistons and... Whole nine yards, Doing all so. that. I don't know if there is all that after that. I think it's just pissed. You can get 90 mil pistons. Like so what's the, what are you planning on doing then? Uh, we're going to order another one. Um, probably not a remand or something. i got to look around yet. But oh. for the price of how many I'm getting new pistons, I'll just get another remand. New one. I just got to make up what I'm going to do yet. So oh, which one to purchase. Prices, so. Yeah. There's lots to choose from. Yes. I don't necessarily want to pay new prices, but we'll figure something out. Yeah. Hopefully that fixes everything. You want to tell us what you're working on? Just reclaiming some wood. Oh. Reclaiming it. What are you going to do with it? I found my snow shovel, so now my work is cut out. This is our front porch. Uh, so, yeah. We're in Sandra's workshop. A.K.A. another room in the house that's full of projects. So you're going to take your snowmobile. This is a snowmobile that he has made with a 3D printer. And um, he likes building snowmobiles, right? And uh, <laughs> we're going to take it out in the snow. He's been waiting for snow nonstop. Talks about when is it going to snow. And here's his chance. So he's going to take this one out. What kind is it? A skidoo. A skidoo. Looks pretty cool. Go see how it handles in the snow. <laughs> snow is too deep. Good morning again. The snow is over my boots. I have snow down into my boots as I walk 
to my chickens. Oh, I thought maybe I made a path here last night, but we got more snow over the night. Snow is good insulation for the chicken coop, though. Let's see how they're doing. All right, looks like everybody's doing good. We're not butchering yet for the fact that uh, the weather looks like it does, but um, once we get above freezing again, then these these guys got to get butchered because they're getting some of them like this one is getting so big, so so big, and they're eating so much. Anyway, I'm heading back out to the winter wonderland. <clears throat> to see the rest of the animals. Still waiting for these girls to have a baby and hopefully <laughs> it's kind of going to be a blistery day but this one here she's going to calve any moment. We thought she'd calve a few days ago but if she could just hold out till after all this snow. It's coming in and swirling around. We have an east wind which is this is a nasty wind for us. And these two calves are fully fed. They're good to go. We've got fresh bedding in here. We put up this little blanket. It's just an old comforter. And we keep old blankets around because uh, it's a windbreak. And sometimes, sometimes we use them to cover the calves if it's too cold and they need heat. So, we do keep old blankets around for that reason, but that will keep the wind, that will keep the wind off them for today, because we're going to get some blizzardy, like, wind, winds this afternoon. That bull just thinks he's still hungry. So the black and white one is a bull, and the red one is a girl. Well, it's kind of nice in here. The, uh... There's some random birds up in the rafters, not knowing how to get out. And then if you look closely, there's chicken, uh, no, turkeys up there roosting because it's cold outside. So that's where they decided to sit. Hello. This is our newest calf that's in the barn. There's two new ones in the pen. Um, but yeah. That's what it looks like outside today. Kind of just snowy. Ick. The ground hasn't froze yet, so it's very muddy underneath. So anytime you scrape the snow away, you just expose the mud, but it doesn't give it enough time to freeze because more snow is constantly falling. Everybody's relaxing. It's cold outside, but it's nice in here. Snow is starting to blow in the feed alley. Majority of the cows are over here because this is the this is the east side. And snow is blowing in here through the openings. Sorry girls. <laughs> <laughs> 